Ooh, welcome back to some more coffee talk here on the channel. What is it, Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Can we check the newspaper? Oh shit. Wait, I need to check the newspaper. Comics, whoa. Wait, where did this come from? Relax, okay, okay. It was Thursday, right? Okay, let's just continue again. Okay, it's Thursday. Uh, hi there. <coughs> I like your hair. Welcome. Yo. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. She said honey milk. I think that's honey milk, bro. Honey milk, say less. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Freya. What's up, Freya? Hey, Brady. It seemed like there's a cat. Yo! I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> dude, please tell me I can give it milk. Oh, dude. Oh my god, she got in with me! Relax, it's okay. Hey kitty, hey kitty kitty. What are you looking for? You want some milk? Okay. <gasps> like, what did I expect, like, from this game, dude? Like, that was actually a cat. God, they got me. Toji Productions, Toj Productions, you got me. Hey, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy sh... You look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw... Neko Mimi transforming. Huh? We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi friends, Mimi, huh? I won't say I ha you I huh? I won't say I have. This is a weird episode so far. You folks usually use your feline form to commute, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a hu. I mean, that commuting in a bipedal form, or then commuting in a bipedal form, kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, uh, sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? Nope. Milk and nothing else. Say less. It's just milk, 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 and milk. Milk. <laughs> it looks like there's nothing in the cup, dude. Oh, let's go. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Okay, my character got game. Hold up. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? Freya, relax. Go back to your writing, bruh. Come on now. I was just giving her a compliment, Freya. Get off my back. Stop cock blocking me. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah, y you bet it is. I made it. You know? You never heard of my coffee shop? It's really good. You're welcome. Freya, relax. So what's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Uh... You don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, see? You know, dude. Meanwhile, like, lady over here is just on her phone. We'll leave her alone, dude. Why is she even in the picture? She's 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. 
Well, I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. I don't. Yeah, I don't either. You wanna, like, tell us, maybe? Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you are in danger... Blink twice. <laughs> Look, she's blinking twice, too. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? Are you an influencer? Shit. I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. She does. She stays on her phone. Pfft, snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. <laughs> Dude, this game is amazing. Come on. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is awesome. Stay roasting for you. She's not that great for business, no. Oh really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. Say less. Uh... Oh yeah, she just wants coffee. Yeah, the espresso. If I ever mess up her order, I'm done. I never want to play this game again. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as usual. I'm glad you liked it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencina? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? Or who just graduated and started her solo career? Uh-huh. Yo, I got a sensation in my coffee shop. And I was spitting game too. Oh my gosh. This is a good- what is this, Thursday? Thursday's the best episode so far. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk, I knew it. I knew it, she's just drinking milk. Relax, Freya, leave her alone. I'm serious. But you can't see with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less, yeah. Yay! Achievement unlocked! No, seriously. Why are you here? She had to avoid the paparazzi. Well, you know, the usual young folks' problems. I had a fight with my father, and so here I am. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but like, and she has daddy issues? Come on, dude. Forget Freya. What was her name even? I forgot. Rachel? Rachel. How come, how come all the other members of the group can't come visit too? Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. True, that's facts. Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad. We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. And what about your and what about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? 
She has the phrase kind of nasally, I'll be honest. Damn. Uh, she passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So, yeah, he does know a thing or two. Jesus Christ, dude, there's so many people here now. Georgie, what's happening, bro? I'm sorry I got your drink messed up yesterday, bud. Please allow me to make it right today. I think I know what to do. Good evening, Bray. Good evening, girls. I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Georgie, what's happening, bro? What's happening, bro? Anyway, Brady. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Oh, shit. Uh, can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Yes, sir. You said green tea with lemon and honey. I am not messing up your order today. Cough syrup. <laughs> okay, so green tea with lemon and honey. I swear to God, if this is wrong, I'm quitting. Your special drink is ready, officer. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Cough syrup. I just told you. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> George is always so surprised. Of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn. This is great. So how's your day going? Or your night? Dude, you open at midnight. What are you talking about? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Now, this is a group of characters right here, bro. Wow. Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? I sure don't. But I'm forced to. I'm behind the counter. Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. <laughs> oh, you're funny, man. Seriously? Yeah. Today is payday. And I checked the ATM dur during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, the labor union protests. And the labor union protests. Everything is fine, though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity. We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Facts. Thank you, Georgie. What do you want? I don't even know your name yet. Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh. Well, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Uh-huh. Who was that? Man. It's facts. Alright, what's up, fam? This is the fam right here. We can forget her. Whatever she was. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm pretty sure that's pretty... Uh-huh. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean... You always do that when you're... You always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes, my salary. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. <clears throat> I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. And because she saw a... Strikingly handsome gentleman, barista, behind the counter. I see. So, you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? How did you know? You can read minds now, old man? I have a daughter around your age. Her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, and you got an officer here. A good one at that. Come on now. You can forget all your problems while you're here. 
Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. That is exactly his job. To protect and serve, brother. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. For now. Unless that one chick was just scoping the place out. Yo, they're about to pull up on me. Man. We'll see. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Thanks. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? Facts. What? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You're the f you're a father yourself. Oh. Right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She has a good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, miss. Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Ah! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. It's facts. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learned something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before her mom died, Freya, come on. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm. Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. As much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she always, and she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's... possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. Okay, this music is like, it's nice, but like, it's a bit too much for right now. Come on now. And your dad. He lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot. But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. <laughs> Relax. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, what? I can only do these voices for so long. Yeah, I run here a lot. But, hey. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just 
happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I was gonna say, you're a, you're a sensation and you still live at home? Dude, go buy a house. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. That. Why? I'm an adult? No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Ex yes, they do. Freya, relax. Woke but broke. You are broke. She's right. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to resolve this. Solve this. Like, like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But don't look at her smiling like that when you say that. But... You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh. That's... quite far. <laughs> Dude, just tell her to, like, form into a cat again and run. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. In this rain? Nah. Hell no. Nah. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Brady and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Brady. See you, Georgie. And shift the focus back to Freya. And there they went. Yep. You can stay longer if you want, please. Please. Nah, it's fine. I have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. Well, that's good to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. <laughs> Go take a vacation and finish your novel. Facts. Like, what am I saying that for? In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month, either. You never know. I'm just saying. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So, yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. But the door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay, then. Take care. Be careful on your way home. This is a short episode. Shoot. Espresso. Blacker than the moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. I think there's an autosave. So, like, I, I'm gonna try tabbing out. So I'm gonna say my piece here. If not, I'll just, like, skip through Thursday again. I'm so happy I didn't mess up any drinks today. I'm really sus about that one lady that came in. At least I think it's a lady. Could have been a guy. I don't know. But that, like, orc or, or whatever species that was. Although I don't, I don't want to be too hesitant. That person could have just been coming in, wanting a drink, got their drink, relaxed for a second, and then went about their night. That happens. But... 
we will definitely see. You know? Watch this game trying to make me, like, racist or something. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coffee Talk. Next episode, Friday, September 25th. Uh, with all that's going on, I hope you are staying safe. Uh, six feet apart from each other. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Disinfect everything you touch. Uh, stay at home. Social distancing. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of Coffee Talk.